everybody, my name is Connor, and today I am reacting to The Promised Neverland Season 2, Episode 1. Um, please say my fa- uh, I can't speak. Please say my camera is focusing. <laughs> I couldn't see it for a second. Um, okay, so basically, last season was absolutely amazing, and I'm really excited to get to this season because of just how excited last season led me. I literally was- okay, so I was late to The Promised Neverland. I didn't start watching whenever it first came out, and I basically was binging these episodes. Yeah, like, y'all know, I usually, like, react to, like, one or two episodes a week. I was literally- I reacted to this whole entire show in, like, a week? Was it, like, a week or, like- a week or two and that's really strange for me with my youtube so like i was literally like almost done with the show by the time i started posting episode one which i never have that good of like um consistency you know mental health issues but you know we good um so yeah um i'm really excited for this last last season really stressed me like out because every episode ended on a cliffhanger and I'm assuming that's how the season's gonna be because they love to leave us thinking and questioning stuff and now we can't just like I can't watch the rest of the episode in, like one night because it comes out weekly so I'm a little stressed I have two episodes behind um y'all voted for so I'm I have a few episodes I can watch at a time because like I'm trying to like keep it for like that one episode that literally stresses me out so much that I'd have to watch the next episode y'all know what I'm talking about um and I should have like a full uncut early release reaction on Patreon if not now then soon so go check that out on Patreon um but yeah, last season was really good. I'm gonna talk a little bit about last season because I thoroughly enjoyed it, like, with passion. Um, so basically last season we had Emma. It started with Emma, Norman, and Ray. And I don't have notes with me or anything. I'm literally just going off my memory. So if I get something wrong, I do apologize. We had Emma, Norman, and Ray. And I love all three of them. I, and uh, by the way, this will have spoiler warning. A spoiler warning for season one. If you haven't seen season one, please don't watch season two, episode one, reactions. Or, yeah, okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna get into it now. Okay, so basically, that Emma, Norman, and Ray, and they basically, um, were at this orphanage type thing for kids, and whoever get adopted, like, people would get adopted before their 12th birthday, they would go, and they had to take this test, they'd play games outside, and have, like, a really happy life. But it's not as happy as you think, because instead of getting adopted, we found out with poor Connie, who everyone's making a joke about on TikTok. I mean, like, every, every time I see Ramit on TikTok, they're like, oh, Connie, found her. No, but okay. Um, basically, we found out they were getting eaten, sold and eaten by demon, by these demons. And um, the mother was actually one of the ones supplying them, because... Um, and then we found out later in the season that the mother actually is a um, was a kid herself. So, um, we found out that the mother was once a kid herself, so then we were introduced to Sister Crone, and Sister Crone is another mother, and, um, she was there to basically help the mom make sure, figure out who the kid that was, um, kids that knew and found out about Connie, because they left their, they made the mistake of leaving their stuffed animal where Connie, leaving Connie's stuffed animal where they found that she died, because they were so scared, and Emma, Norman, and Ray, well, Emma and Norman, the ones that love their mom so much, actually realized how bad they were. Sorry about that, my Overwatch game went off and I had people trying to add me. Um... <laughs> To a game. Um, okay, can this focus? Focus, please. Okay, so, yeah, where I left off. Okay, so we found out at the end of the show that Ray is actually the mom's, um, son. So that's very interesting, and I really want to see how they're going to work that out, like, throughout the show, because, um, I feel like we're going to go back to the mom eventually, because we left Phil, um at um the base because he's basically like yeah i'll stay here and help the other kids while y'all escape because they couldn't take the five-year-old and under or something like that like the little kid like one two three four you can't take you couldn't escape with them because that'd just be more of a danger to them because you know uh, little kids like that can't survive out on the wild especially by themselves and with literally like, the only people the oldest people there being like 12 so it just wouldn't work out um but yeah. Oh, Emma and Ray also cut their ears off in the process of burning the house down because that's how they got out with 
um, Don and Gilda helping, and then we found out later on that other kids were helping with the girl with the braids, and two little, like, twin, not twin, I don't know, they look similar with the chipped teeth. Um, they were helping too, and we found out all these people were helping, and eventually we led to the escape plan. The escape plan Emma has been planning for a long time because of the information Norman gave her, and help with Sister Crone. Oh, I also forgot to mention Sister Crone did, uh, sadly die. I was very upset in episode 8, I believe. Um, so that was very upsetting, because I actually like Sister Crone by then, because she was actually helping... And we went through her backstory, we seen she was just another hurt child. Same thing with Isabella, though. The reason why she, like, said, good, she said at the end, like, uh, like, um, be safe, kids, and all that, is because she was once a kid like them, and she was a hurt kid, and she literally just has, like, trauma and all that. And she really wanted what's best for them, but she didn't, she couldn't give it to them because she had, like, this duty to do with these other things that the demons wanted, and she had this chip thing implanted inside of her, so she tried to leave, she would die, and all these things, things, things built up, and we had that sad song. I like that song, um, but it was like really sad at that moment because like we saw like her friend die and like she was trying to escape but she couldn't. It was just really sad. Um, I've been rambling this intro. I know y'all want to just get into the reaction, so I might as well just get into the reaction. But all I'm saying is, if this season's anywhere near as good as last season, I am in for a treat and I in for a good adventure on this. So, yeah. I'm ready to get into this. I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to get into this. So, thank you all for watching. Um, we're about to get to the reaction part. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below. Check out my Patreon for full, uncut, early release reactions. My Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch is also down below. And, yeah, I have the, uh, a playlist made of the entire Season 1 reactions, too, on this channel. So, go check that out. And, yeah, I'm really excited to get into this. Hope you enjoy. And, um, let's go. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna predict, um, actually I don't even know what to predict. I really hope Norman's alive though because I forgot to mention they did, they did kill Norman but he may be alive because they took him to another room but I don't know, but let's get ready to die. <laughs> also subscribe. Before we get into the reaction, I literally just spilled coffee all over. I laid down for like 10 seconds just to chill before my reaction because I took a little break, you know, get... <laughs> I spilled my coffee. <sighs> I'm soaking wet. Like, Y'all see this? Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna have a different outfit on than I film. Okay, let's get into it. People are breathing. That's a good start. <gasps> Emma, hey. Okay, so it's all the kids running. So, how long? I wonder if there's like a time skip or something, because they all seem to be running through the forest, maybe? I just really hope there's captions on. Okay, <laughs> yes, okay. Freedom is beautiful, yet yeah, so cruel. So, they're. Oh my god, I just realized they're literally running from demons right now. That's crazy. Do the kids are eating? Ooh, oh, they're just traumatized. <laughs> That's fair. These are demons. All the ones in their outfits, and they get transported to the f to be food. Look, like she had braids for a second. Maybe she's gonna have a braid. Oh, and she doesn't have an ear. What's how that's gonna work? Are they gonna like just draw like she has a patch on it or something like that? Yeah. Oh, she's gonna put a braid right there, maybe, where her ear is missing. Same with Ray. He doesn't have an ear anymore. Right. Yeah, I think so. I think he got his ear cut off last season too. Where's that? Yeah, yeah, I need a safe out food. I'm not sure I can find like a good like food source. But I don't think I found that yet, so you okay, she seems tired. Did he get burned or something? I'm trying to think of what happened. I don't know. But I know she lost her ear because she had to, you know, take it off. The chip. Mm. Good, that's what we need because we don't want you lighting anything on fire again, especially yourself. 
I wonder what Phil and them are doing though, because they house burned down. So I wonder if Phil and them like they built a new house fast, or if they went and moved to a different area. <laughs> oh, oh, we're gonna be looking for William Minerva. That's really cool. What about it? B O six thirty two. So that's more than just a pin. Okay, I was wondering what that was because they left it and they feel like it was like this big piece of information. But it's not just a pin. I was so confused on why it was just a pin, but it's actually like technology. And doesn't this take place in like 2030 something or something like that, maybe? I feel like that's something or 50 something, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, so this is like a touchscreen hologram thing. It's really cool. C H M E. Touch me. Oh. That's really interesting. That's really cool. I was wondering what that pen was for, but now it makes sense. If you need my help, come to visit me. I am at the point. Okay. Oh, so okay. Oh. What is it? Ah. Oh. Oh, that's really cool. They have books about, like, food and stuff. Okay, that's really interesting. It's good to know this stuff. It's smart that they did that. Yeah. Okay, that's really good to know. If his pen was at the base where Sister Crone got it, was was he compromised? Was he at their um, base? What is he? What, who is he? Is he an alien? Is he a demon that's like good? Is he human? Because the password is human, but that's a little sus. Like, what are you? Human. <laughs> are you okay? Hope your ears didn't get like infected. A demon. Demons. Oh, they're looking for them. Oh. All the fireflies are running because there's a demon right there. Okay, think of it as a game attack, yeah, but Emma, why are you smiling? Okay, grab, grab the shit. <gasps> Ton, Don, 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 Don. Gilda, forget your name in the back. It's like Honor, Anna, or something. I think. She's the one that cut off her braids, Anna, maybe? Uh, I got, these kids are traumatized, probably. Ooh, good. Now run. That reminds me of, like, Tokoyami from My Hero Academia's Dark Shadow going through the woods in season three. That's weird. <laughs> That's very strange. Oh, a trap. Oh. Oh, wait. I don't know. I don't know how she is after she broke her leg and all that, though. Did something just bite its head off? That's... That's the demons. The ones we're scared of. They're like demon dogs. And one of the swords like more like human like. Her ears bleeding a lot. She's not okay. I feel like she's gonna like pass out. Is she gonna end up passing out or is she just really scared for Ray? Cause she's going after Ray. She passed out. I knew it. Ray. Yeah, her ear. That's what I said. Like, is it infected or something? Are the wounds open? Fever. Oh, it's infection. Who are you? A kid that escaped? He's surrounded. Oh, yeah, he's surrounded. Oh, 
Uh-uh, he's not. How's he gonna get out of this? Who is that? On the horse. Is that a person or a demon horse? Wait, or... No? Ooh. Ooh. Are you where Emma and them are? Or a different place? Did Minerva find you? Is that who that was? Maybe this is William Minerva. And the little girl's maybe his daughter? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, Emma. Hmm. It might be Minerva, honestly. Yeah, yeah, it's totally, totally possibility. Okay, good. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, then I don't know who that is. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh yeah. Is she a demon? They're demons, right? So they're covering their face. Ah. Uh. But they're good demons, right? She looks like she's half demon. Is she half demon, maybe? She looked partially human. Ah, oh, it's over. That was a really good episode. So that was The Promised Neverland Season 2 Episode what? 1. It was really good. I actually did really enjoy it, and I'm ready to see what's coming up, because, um... We friends with some demons now. <laughs> okay, so basically, Emma and Ray are basically leading these with help with Don and Gilda, obviously, because they've been there since, like, the beginning, almost. Um... They're basically leading these kids through the woods, trying to survive. And thankfully, some of these kids are smart, though. It's like Yvette, uh, Yvette is, I think that's how they pronounce I think that's the name I saw. I don't 100% remember, but it was something like that. Um, they're like, hey, these plants have water in them. Or something that they were in the book. And they're like, oh, yeah, these plants have water in them. So the kids are actually being helpful, too. But it's mainly Ray, Emma, and, um, almost Alpha just said Norman. Uh, Ray, Emma, Don, and Gilda, and they are basically leading these kids to survival. But basically, Emma and Ray pass out in these like big event situations where they're the demons find them, like the demons, like the demons that are chasing us from the house. They find them, and um, they end up passing out because their ears are like infected because they literally cut their ears off. That's not healthy. Um, so they pass out, and they get saved by these other two people. One girl is wearing like she's just like have her face covered, she's just standing in the middle of the field and the other one's riding a horse but we figure out whenever they wake up and all of them are actually demons and the demon oops, they're demons and they save them anyway they don't know who Minerva is because we thought they were going to be Minerva Sonja is the older guy and then there's a young girl I don't know if we got her name um yeah also the pin that sister crone gave left for Norman and them and Norman left for the kids I think that's what happened I don't remember exactly it basically is the hologram pin, and I thought it was a normal pin. I was like, why they leave that? That's weird. And they never, like, really went into it last season. But it turns out the pin basically, like, opens up this hologram, and you can, like, click it, and it tells you, like, locations, and you type human in there, and it, like, opened up, like, hey, come find me here at this specific area. So it's really interesting that Minerva left that stuff for them, and that Crone left, that Norman left. It's a whole... A whole thing, but it's good that we could be able to find them. I really hope we find Minerva because they've been like talking about him since season one, so it's really good to like see if we could find him. Um, sorry, there's noise going outside, somebody's going into the attic. <laughs> um, and it's a hologram, I was saying, yeah, the pin's a hologram, but yeah. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below. Check my Patreon for full, uncut, early release reactions. Thank you, and bye.